Good day, everyone, and thanks for joining us here in the charts. You tuned in to the Market Beast. To the Market Beast, your fellow competitor speaking. Today, we'll be exploring a very beautiful instrument that goes by the ticker symbol of S N O W, Snowflake Inc. I have no clue what this stock is, so please do your research before you listen to me in terms of what I'm going to say about this stock. That's betting against or buying, okay? Well, subscribers, welcome back. The YouTube algorithm is picking up on the channel due to your engagement. If you're new here, it's probably a little bit strange if we hear the way that I'm talking. My little subscribers, they're used to it. Uh, we'd love for you to join us here, but of course, consider hitting that subscribe button after we finish out on the details if this actually comes to fruition. I want to show you an interesting pattern that I've been following. So let's just go ahead and see what we have here and dive right into the charts here, shall we? All right, so today's March the 5th, 2021, and the current price of snow is going to be $222.31. It's down approximately 10.7% for the day. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to actually show you a video that we posted. Here's a video on January the 25th, 2021. Is it a good time to buy some snowflake? stock okay and if you notice on the screen there uh just please take a, pay, take a listen on that video hopefully we have the link and if you notice on the screen you see this ascending red line and this ascending green line let me just re reveal the pattern that i've been following it looks a little bit it looks, looks a lot better it looks beautiful watch this that's it really simple isn't that isn't that nice uh if you notice the top of the line it's basically essentially that red line that you see on the screen and then the lower line down here it's the uh, the green line. It's really nice and crisp. I love the way it looks now. It's beautiful. Let me know down in the comment section. Does it look good? All right. Just go ahead and continue here, bud. All right. So the price is was within. Well, okay. Let me be specific. The price appears to be breaking down from an ascending broadening wedge pattern. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. What you are witnessing on the screen is considered a broadening ascending wedge pattern pattern for those of you who want to argue you know whether or not the price is in within the pattern i mean you can argue with me until you're orange in the face the price action is always within a pattern what do i mean by that let me just briefly explain that before we continue the price is always either in one of i think four things okay let me just uh, circle a pattern which is right here a broadening ascending wedge pattern okay um and also if the price is going let's just do a really quick measure uh illustration here I know I talk a lot, guys, but I just, I, I know my technical guys, they listen and I know they want to kind of understand this stuff. So the price is always within a pattern. Um, sideways consolidating, right? That's also a pattern, which is if it's if it's uh, consolidating sideways, that is a pattern, okay? It's either in an ascending channel, right? Walking up the stairs, that's also a pattern, okay? All right. And if it's making lower, low, lower highs and lower lows, that's a descending channel, okay? That is also a pattern. Okay, what do we do? Like four? It's either within. Uh, I mean, they're all patterns. It's the price action is always within a pattern, or breaking out of a pattern. Okay, breaking out consists of upside of the downside. Breaking out, essentially, what it says: break out to the upside or break down to the downside. All right, let's get to the technicals here. Wow, this super long, drawn out explanation. But hopefully, you got that, my uh, technical guys, my new technical guys. So what I'm seeing here on the screen, obviously, you, you notice this green circle represents the buyers uh, breaking out of the pattern, attempting to fulfill their obligation. Remember, when when the it's just buyers and sellers for erase the numbers, OK, the buyer's obligation is to break above the resistance line overhead, stay above the resistance line and continue to find new territories above the previous level of resistance which could be identified on this level that i'm just kind of walking up the you know the level there right that is the buyer's obligation to break above the resistance line and stay above the resistance line so let's go ahead and erase that green circle hope that was a good enough explanation now the seller's obligation okay is to break below the support line i think it's pretty clear to, it's clear to me i mean some may challenge but that's fine the, you can see the wicks. There has never been, these are three-day candles. There has never been a three-day candle to close below this support line, okay? It appears right now that it's trying to get below it, yes. But you guys know me. It's not over until it's over. There are still four days and six hours to close on this candle, all right? So if the price can just so happen, or if the, the, the buyers can just so happen to get the price back above this potential support line, which it appears is being compromised officially right now, OK, it's two hundred and forty five dollars right here. So within four days, let's say by March the 10th, 2021, the price 
must close back above this potential support line or it needs to make a bullish counter move on the next three day candle and get back above and close above the $245 level. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, hopefully, I guess I'll just re re explain it one more time because remember, the buyer's obligation is to protect a support line. They're all the buyers are always trying to protect the support line, and the sellers are always trying to protect a resistance line. They protect, you know, protect to keep the price down. The sellers are trying to keep the price down from this resistance line, and of course, the buyers they're always trying to protect the support line. That's all it is, just buyers and sellers. So the buyer's obligation right now is to pick up their woo. You know what I'm about to say? Pick up their stuff, get the price back above 245. Now, um, in some cases. When you have like a fake out, let's just say this is actually an actual fake out. I'm not saying this is what it is. It look, this looks official, I'll be honest. But just let's just entertain the fact that or entertain the scenario that could potentially play out that this is a fake out. What typically happens in a fake out is it would close below this line and the very next candle will close back above $245. Now it doesn't always play out exactly in that manner because there's two there's two uh, scenarios that I have observed. The first that I just told you, they'll break a candle below and then it'll immediately pop back above, close back above that level, okay? That's the first scenario. Excuse me. Now the second scenario is what'll happen is the sellers they'll break down below a support line. And what will happen is the buyers, they'll actually consolidate below a support line, right? So let's just say it takes like two to three more three-day candles or even longer. But if you notice, there's like a close proximity below this support line. What's happening is it could still, the sellers could still follow through to the downside. But what happens is the buyers, they actually have a unique opportunity to re-challenge the support line, get back above and continue uh, to the trajectory to the upside because if you just kind of look at everything just kind of overall here and just kind of erase that for just one second this price has never been within like a downtrend it's actually been in an interesting it's a new stock it can't be trending anything right now it came out september the 15th 2020 so there's not really a, an uptrend or a downtrend it's just a very aggressive move from a support line to the upside right and it has recently gotten rejected from that level which had about like 400 dollars. and right now it's just trying to re-challenge the previous level of support which is right here near the uh 226 dollar level that's all that's going on right now. So it's not even in a downtrend or an uptrend, but obviously the sellers are making an attempt to push the price down. This is going to take another a week. Let's just give it five to 10 market days. If you see the price, let me just give you the, the level that the buyers that you're probably going to see some very interesting price activity near this level. Because it's really simple for me to understand that if the sellers are truly stepping into this market and they're getting the price below this line that I just put on the chart right here, their obligation is to follow through and continue the momentum to the downside, which is currently at, uh, let's see, uh, $227. So this is, the, this is the level where the buyers step in the market. Okay, so for those of you who are holding this or who... Are associating this what is it warren buffett or something oh let me let me let me say this hopefully i didn't already say that this stock can go to zero i'm gonna say that to, on all my videos now this stock can go to zero you can leave an appropriate thumb in the comment for saying that but i'm just gonna go ahead and say that on every video so i can clear my name all right um i don't care if, who is it warren buffett if he owns this stock and it's extreme potential blah 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 that doesn't matter i'm looking at the technicals the technicals are suggesting it must protect the $227 level within the next five days, actually today or within the next, you know, three or, uh, yeah, like I said, five days or, el or else the sellers are going to sense that um, there's no there's no strength here, no buying strength here. They're just going to push the price to the downside. And there's a lot of room to the downside. Honestly, there's a lot of room to the downside. This price is like $200 and go all the way down. Right. Uh, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's take it one step at a time. Four days to close. Let's just see what happens by March 10th, 2021. The buyers have a very unique opportunity to step into this market. Actually, right now, like literally right here, right now, because let me erase this for everyone to see really quickly. Hold on. This is like a long video. So notice from a three day candles perspective. OK, there has never been a, a candle to close below two hundred and twenty seven dollars. So if this were to successfully play out, this means that one or two things will happen according to how I understand price action. The sellers will close a three day candle below this level. The buyers will sense, okay, sellers, all right, okay, we get it. 
you have strength in this market, but before we push this price down, let me at least get some of my long positions out of this market before you flush it out. So there will be a bullish counter move and it's likely it'll go all the way back up to the previous level of support, which is at $266. If the buyers cannot get back above that, let me just go ahead and put a line there. Okay, this stuff is super simple and it's a beautiful story. A lot of people ignore it. I don't know why, it's, I don't know. It's really, really beautiful. All right, so that'd be right there. So let's just say, the buyers and the seller, they have an agreement. They're like, okay, man, all right. Well, the buyers, the teller seller is like, man, please, please, just, we get it, okay? We get it. Just give me like an opportunity for like the next week or two or three, and let's just push this price back up. And if we're officially going to push the price down, I'll join you guys. That's what the buyers would tell the sellers. They're like, okay, I'll join you, okay? But you have to, you know, let me have, you know let's level here. Like, let's, let's come to an uh, agreement so that we can both how be happy um, in terms of what's going to happen next in this price. And then, of course, we consolidate up here near the um, above the two hundred and twenty seven dollar level. And if the buyers can't get back above two sixty seven, then yeah, there's no real strength in this market. I don't care who owns it. All right. Um, and yeah, if they cannot get back above two sixty seven, it's likely to come back down and rechallenge the two thirty one. It's super hypothetical. The price could be completely collapsing right now which i don't think is going to happen i truly think that what we're looking at is a buy-in opportunity uh, at least here in the short term until the buyers you know pick their stuff up and get it back above uh the 267 dollar level okay um, but i would like to see this bullish counter move happen in a very short period of time not not three weeks no 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 because what's going to happen is if it gets back above 2 227 you know it's taking all long to get above you know, uh, 267, then that's going to show a sign of weakness to the sellers. And they're like, okay, yeah, keep going. Keep putting those buy orders in. Yeah, you guys good and ready? Yes? Good? Down we go. And they just dump the price, right? Super hypothetical. I just love telling the price action, the, the story behind price action. That's going to end this segment for this uh, story, what could potentially play out in the market. Hopefully you have the, the bullish case, okay? If it makes a bullish counter move, 267 is a level it must get above, and then it will likely accomplish. I think we have a thumbnail saying like $400. Yeah, that's not clickbait, guys. It's definitely uh, real. It could definitely get back up to that level. Um, I'm not sure how long it would take. Let's let the price action develop here and let the story play out behind the price action between the buyers and the sellers. That's all it is. Um, I'm actually thinking of getting long on this market, okay? So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there if you enjoyed the content. Leave, let me know down in the comment section, guys. Was this, did this make sense? Because I feel like, you know, I don't know. I feel like people don't really truly understand. I just sound weird on the mic. Let me know down in the comment section if this was a, a reasonable explanation. Also, before you go, if you knew, if you made it this far, uh, we covered the alternative markets. If you're into Bitcoin and altcoins, we covered that. So subscribe to the bell. We'll send you that information when it's available. Cover everything. Yes, good. Out we go. Take care of yourselves. Protect your portfolio. Execute your strategies. Okay? We're going to talk very soon. And bye for now.